Welcome to our video series about the EQ Lighting Application Suite. In these videos we will show you the various components of the software suite and how they are used and how this all fits together. Today we have a first look at the programmer. The programmer is the central tool of the Lighting Application Suite. It is the one tool where you create, where you set up your show, where you program your show and in the end execute your show. The programmer consists of several sub-windows and a main tool line and some other areas which we will see in the next minutes. Let's start with this little multi-purpose window here in the upper left. This is the status window and you can select other display zones via this tab line. The status tells you how the general state of the programmer is, if triggers are allowed and if the programmer is running in supervisor or user mode. You can see if drivers, application drivers are loaded, they are on at the moment. You can see your network connection, you can see on which address the ENET runs, you can see some more information which is related to network things, for example also to the HTTP server, the web server, and which port are, ports are used by the web server. You can see the load, which frame speed is run over the DMX engines and which frame speed is possible in the graphical user interface. You see the workload on the system and you can see the uptime and the system time. And the last tab with the time shows the local time and the time zone and from the internal astronomical clock the calculated twilight times am and pm sunrise time noon time and sunset time the next little window here on the right is the logbook and the logbook shows all messages from the system and what is happening in the system it keeps you informed about the systems in news you can see the last news from EQ and Traxon, from the social networks, the RDM window, over the RDM tab is empty at the moment, and the HTTP server is running and is listening on this address and this port. This window here on the left side is the master window. There is a grandmaster and there are several versatile masters which can be used to control only parts of your fixture area or can be used to control effect speeds and so on and so on. It is the same as having sub masters on a mixing console. And then below we have a groups window and this window area is reserved for your fixtures and their configuration. To show this, this I will load a patch. I defined before and <clears throat> this patch is a video wall which is used for our examples here. And now the programmer imports the patch created with the patchula and here you have all your pixels and all your units that form your fixture configuration and your project. The next window is the so-called programmer view, which we'll see in a, some seconds. And below is the area with the queue list. If you are working with queue lists, then here you have your queue lists defined, named, with buttons to run, to stop, or to pause your queue list. With a programmer you can control every single node, every single fixture, every single pixel in your project. To show this a little example, here are all the fixtures I have defined and used. I will now use a command which is called preview. And in this preview you have a preview of the configuration of your project. I can now in the programmer 
select single nodes, single pixels from my configuration and these are now displayed in the program view. I can use all selected pixels and I can select with these buttons all, non, all even, all odd and so on and so on pixels. If I use a single pixel I have here the three channels. I have the blue channel keeping the mouse button pressed. I can select a color for this single node. Or I can use all and then define the color for all selected pixels. Another possibility is to use the color picker. With the color picker I can select colors and I can not only select colors but I can also create spreads with various formats as a long path which goes around the circle and a short path which goes across. And here I have defined a color spread with these colors and if I use them it maps these color spread over the selected pixels which is not very useful at the moment you're only using three pixels. It makes much more sense to use all pixels in the project and if I now use the color picker with a spread then it maps it over the complete fixture range. In the preview window I can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in or zoom out and this is our complete area which makes up the video wall we will use for our little experiments. The first thing you should do after starting the program for the first time is to use the applications options to set up how the programmer behaves. This is either if you want to see the splash screen at the beginning when starting the programmer. Over the advanced tab you select the Ethernet interface that is used for the Ethernet connection. You can select what sounds you want to have or not to have how your mouse behaves and if the HTTP server is started by default or not. These are the application options. Another menu item are the show properties and the show properties you define your show. One example if you want to protect your show from modification or even from being viewed. You can set where the queue list directory is, you can select if you want to use timecode, you can enable the audio DSP to have sound to light transitions, you can have alias lists and here you have the sunrise timer for your location and the daylight saving times table all relating to your show. A last look at the main menu. You have the file area where you can create a new show, you can open an existing show, you can save the show you are working on, switch from supervisor to user mode. This is the patch function which in most cases is not anymore used today because the patch is available, the application option and the show properties. Here we have an export function Yes, there are no DMX engines available. This is device manager which tells you which devices and drivers are loaded. You can have presets where you can map a given preset to fixtures, the live effects version, the preview we saw before. You have the sequencer, the media players and access to the action pad which is part of another video. So this is the main control of the programmer. The programmer view 
can be switched between three tabs. One is the programmer view. Then we have a content view if we're aligning with queue lists. And you also have an output view where we can see what is really going to the fixtures. Okay, this as a first step, how the programmer looks like and what the separate windows mean. And in the next videos, we'll have closer look to things like the effects engine, how to set up queues and queue lists and how to generate effects and to use the sequencer.